Hello friends, welcome to Tech Electric. Myself Piyush and today's topic of our video is construction and working of electromagnetic relay. So let's get started. Relay. So what is a relay? Relay is an automatic device which detects the fault and supply information to circuit breaker to trip. Electromagnetic relay. So there are two types of electromagnetic relay. First is the attracted armature type and second is the induction type. I have already explained the attracted armature type relay in the previous video. You can watch that video. I have given the link in the description. Second is the induction type. There are three types of induction type relay. First is the shaded pole induction disc relay. Second is the vatometer type induction relay. And third is the induction type cup relay. Shaded pole induction disc relay. The shaded pole structure is usually actuated by current flowing in single bound on a magnetic structure containing an air gap. The air gap flux produced is split into two fluxes that is displaced in time and space by shading ring generally made up of copper that encircles a part of pole face on each pole. A disc is placed between these two poles. The disc is generally made up of aluminium therefore it has low inertia and needs less deflecting torque for its movement. The two rings have current induced in them by the alternating flux of the electromagnet and the magnetic field developed by this induced current cause the flux in proportion of the iron surrounded by the rings to lag in phase by 40 to 50 degree behind the flux in the unshaded portion of the pole. That is phi s lag phi mu by 40 to 50 degree. As we know that driving torque is given as T is directly proportional to phi s phi mu sin theta where phi s is the flux in the shaded portion phi mu is the flux in the unshaded portion and theta is the angle between phi s and phi mu. Assuming that phi s phi mu is directly proportional to I the equation can be given as deflecting torque directly proportional to I square sin theta. So driving torque varies as the square of the current flowing in the relay coil. During the normal condition, the current is not sufficient enough to act a deflecting torque to rotate the disc. But during abnormal condition, the current heavily increases which produces the eddy current sufficient enough to develop a deflecting torque which rotate the disc and close the contact to send a trip signal to circuit breaker and protect the system. Whatever meter type induction relay. It has E-shaped and U-shaped electromagnet with a disc free to rotate in between them. This disc is generally made up of aluminium so it has low inertia therefore needs less deflecting torque. Primary winding carries current I1 while secondary winding is connected to the U-shaped electromagnet. Primary winding carries the current I1 which produces phi1. This phi1 leads to AMF being induced in the secondary winding which causes I2 to flow and produce phi2. Phi2 will lag phi1 by angle theta. Phi2 and phi1 produces a resultant flux which produces eddy current in the disc. This eddy current produces a deflecting torque which is directly proportional to phi1 phi2 sin theta where phi1 is the flux produced due to the primary current phi2 is the flux produced due to the secondary current and theta is the angle between phi1 and phi2. During the normal condition, this deflecting torque is not sufficient enough to rotate the disc. But during abnormal condition, as current heavily increases, the deflecting torque also increases which rotate the disc and close the contact which send a trip signal to the circuit breaker and protect the system. Induction Cup Relay This relay operates on the same principle as the induction motor. The relay has two or four electromagnet. The construction shown in the figure has four electromagnet. A stationary core is placed between this electromagnet. The rotor is hollow metallic cylinder cup which is free to rotate in air gap between the electromagnet and stationary iron core. The rotating magnetic field is produced by two pairs of coil wound on four pole. As the RMF is produced by electromagnet cut the stationary iron core and EMF is induced in it. Iron core being a closed circuit current starts flowing through it. Now it behaves as a current carrying conductor placed in the magnetic field of electromagnet. So it experiences a force due to which it rotates. 
the force is given by b i l sin theta where b is the flux density i is the amount of current l is the active length of conductor and theta is the angle between magnetic neutral axis and the conductor during normal condition the rotating magnetic field produced due to the normal current is not sufficient enough to rotate the stationary iron core but during abnormal condition heavy current produces strong magnetic field which induces more emf in the stationary iron core therefore the current also increases in the iron core which in return increases the net force acting on the conductor which gives it the force to rotate therefore it sends a trip signal to circuit breaker and protect the system that's it for today's session if you like the video hit the like button and share the video with your friends do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for notification of more such videos thank you